The Jackson Hole Playhouse has been known by many names over the last century. The Spicer Garage, Rowell's Motor Company, Anderson Penton Trucking Freight, Cheney Electric, Pink Garter Theater, and Diamond Little Theater. One historic name, however, is tied directly to the building. Above the marquee, second-story porch railing, and the original dentals and cornice sits a decorative pediment declaring the building's origin. Deloney, 1916. Sixteen years prior, Charles Pap Deloney opened the first general store in the valley. In 1906, the one-room store in their house had expanded to a separate brick building, today occupied by the Historical Society Museum. By 1913, Charles's son Hiram became a full partner and the business expanded to include the nearby Deloney Garage. Initially built to store cars and wagons over winter, a blacksmith repair shop was added in 1919. George Irwin held the lease and employed six mechanics to work on wagons and early cars. In 1923, Walt Spicer moved his Ford dealership from Kelly south to Jackson and remained here for two decades selling genuine Ford parts and servicing a growing population of automobiles. Rowell's Walquist opened a Chevrolet dealership in the building before it moved across town, and Anderson Penton Trucking Freight briefly occupied the building. In 1953, Ed and Vera Cheney purchased the building and installed a bowling alley and a pool hall. They opened Cheney Electric, which sold radios and home appliances. During this time, the building served as a local bus depot, a photography studio, gun shop, and a charity event space. In 1959, the Cheneys began construction to convert the interior space into a 150-seat theater, adding the porch with a wrought iron railing. In 1960, disaster struck when a garbage can outside caught fire and badly damaged the building. The damage was estimated at $5,000 and forced the Cheneys out of their small upstairs apartment until repairs could be made. The building reopened as a theater in the 60s, but it wouldn't be until 1974 when the Jackson Hole Playhouse Theater officially earned its current name.